In this video, we will be rendering this high-rise building in Enscape. Now, before we begin, if you find this video helpful, please consider supporting my work on Patreon. Your support helps me create new videos every week, and you will get access to over 100 Revit project files. Now, let's get started. So here I have this project file open. As you can see, I have already added the road marking and curve. I have tutorials about how to create these in Revit, so you can check them out. Anyway, as usual, we'll start by creating materials for each object in Revit so that we can easily edit them in the Enscape material editor. Now that I have finished creating the materials in Revit, let's launch Enscape. We'll begin by setting up the camera view. First, let's reset the previous settings. And I'm going to double click to zoom in onto the model. Let's open up the view management window and click on create view. Since it is a high rise building, I prefer to create a vertical rendering. To set up the camera view for the vertical rendering, we first want to turn on the safe frame mode by clicking here. This will help us see which part of the screen will be rendered. Now let's open up the visual settings and I'm going to rename the preset to V1, which is going to be the name of the camera view. Now let's go to the output tab and change the resolution to custom. I'm going to put 2200 by 3000 pixels as the size of this rendering. As you can see, it's too far away. To fix this, we can go to the main tab. First, let's change the camera projection to two point and then use the field of view slider to zoom in onto the building. Now let's readjust the camera position. Once satisfied, we can go ahead and save the camera view. But before doing so, make sure to rename the camera view to keep things organized. This is not the final view. We might come back here again before creating the final rendering because we may need to reposition the camera once we have placed the assets. Anyway, once the camera view is set, we can turn off the safe frame and change the camera position back to perspective. Let's go ahead and work on the materials. I'm going to split both windows and start editing the materials in the Enscape material editor. I will speed up this part to save you time.
so I have applied the materials now let's quickly add the assets I will be using assets from the Enscape asset library since it is the most boring part of the video I will skip this part as well and get back to you after placing the assets so I have finished adding the assets let's resume Enscape and check the scene okay as you can see we have mistakenly placed this building in front of the camera so let's go back to Revit go to the 3D view and hide this building and there you go I think we should reposition the camera let's adjust the field of view to zoom out a little bit once done let's go ahead and click on save I think we should delete this tree which is blocking the view I am going to make the concrete panel texture on the main facade texture a little lighter so we just need to increase the brightness perfect I am going to move the surrounding buildings a little bit because they are looking too close to our building which is not looking good in my opinion moving on I am going to create a basic ceiling for all the floors and add some ceiling light so the interior looks a little brighter let's go back to Revit we'll first pause Enscape so we can work without lag now let's go to a ceiling plan and sketch out a ceiling let's click on edit type and we'll create a 2 inch ceiling and I'm going to use a default gypsum board material here we have our ceiling now let's go back to the ceiling plan and add the lights I'm going to be using lighting families from this plugin we'll find the download link for this plugin in the description anyway let's use this one I am going to place it here and then create an array make sure last is checked and I am going to create four of these now let's select all of these and create an array on this side let's put five there we go now let's select these and copy them to this side first we will need to ungroup them and then copy as I said earlier the main focus of this tutorial is on exterior renderings so we are creating these lights only to light up the interior a little bit anyway once that's done we can simply copy these lights and ceiling to the other floors let's right click on this one select all instances visible in view now hover over the ceiling hit the tab key a couple of times once the ceiling is highlighted hold down the control key and select the ceiling now click copy to clipboard and then click this drop down and select align to selected levels I'm going to copy them from level 4 to level 12 just hold down the shift key and click on level 12 click OK and there you go as you can see we have the ceilings on all the floors here as for this one I will quickly create the ceiling and add the lights
so I finished adding the lights. Now let's go back to Inkscape, and it's looking something like this. I think we should change the color of these glass railings. So let's select the railing. And I'm going to create a duplicate of this material. And change the tint. Let's try this color. It's looking much better. I think the scene is ready to be exported. So let's prepare the scene for the final rendering. For this first rendering, I will be using the sky settings from Enscape instead of an HDRI. So first let's click on the sky and I'm going to change the source to clear and then adjust the clouds accordingly. I think these cloud settings work well with this scene. Now let's go to the main tab and add some outlines. To highlight the edges, 5% works fine. Next we have exposure, I will leave it at 50% for now. And let's increase the rendering quality to ultra so that we can adjust the other settings accordingly. In the image tab I will reduce the highlights and shadows. If you want the corners of your scene to be more dark. You can increase the shadows. I will lower them down for now. You have probably noticed in my other Enscape videos that I prefer to lower the saturation to 90%. In my opinion it gives our rendering some color balance. I will lower the color temperature because we want to create a warm effect. If you want you can increase this slider to have a cooler tone. Let's remove all the effects except bloom. We will leave it at around 10%. Moving on to atmosphere settings. If you want a very clean and sharp rendering, you should remove fog. I am going to lower the sun a little bit. And remove the shadow sharpness. We will leave the artificial light brightness as is. Since it is a daytime rendering. We don't want to show too much light in the interior. Anyway, let's increase the ambient brightness to 100%. And that's it. We are ready to export the rendering. We already did the sky settings. So we go to the output tab. And I would like to change the file format to JPEG. Let's close this window and I am going to press Ctrl plus 1. The shortcut key I set to export the renderings. I am going to call it V1 and click save. The rendering has been exported. Let's take a look at it. This is the result. It turned out pretty good. If you want you can try HDRI lighting as well instead of the default Enscape lighting. Before loading an HDRI we first want to duplicate this preset. And then I'm going to load an HDRI that I downloaded for free from the internet. Check this box to use the HDRI as the main lighting source. Play around with the rotation and brightness to find what works best for your scene. Let's go to the atmosphere tab and increase the artificial light brightness a little bit. And that's it. You can try out other HDRIs and play around with the other settings as well. For now it seems perfect to me. So let's export this one as well and check both of these side by side. So that's how simple it is to render our Revit projects in Enscape. That's it for this video. I hope you have learned something new. If you find this video helpful, please consider supporting my work on Patreon and get access to over 100 Revit project files. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.